What's going on guys, it's King Drummer Danny here. So uh, you can see it's kind of dark right here. I'm at a different church here with my um, buddy Dawson who is another fellow drummer. I'm at the Beach Fellowship Church here and today he's gonna be giving you a tour of his drum kit, which is really nice. It's a DW Collector Series if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. All right, so, so what is the kit? What do we have on the kit today? So what's going on guys? First of all, good morning. This is a uh, DW Collector Series. It's a natural satin oil finish. Uh, it's a seven piece kit, but we broke it down into a four piece just for the modifications and whatever. But I'll start with the sizes first. The Rat Tom is a 12 by nine. The Floor Tom is a 16 by 16. We've got a 22 by 18 uh, kick drum and a 14 by six and a half DW stainless steel snare drum. One jaw on it to dampen everything. Yep, and then on my left, I've got a uh, 14 by, what is this? Snare, side snare drum. The uh, drums are made of maple. The kit drum, I would prefer a 22 by 14 just because the airwaves in the drum, they travel quicker with a shorter shell. It's mainly like a standard shell. These are mainly all standard sizes. I would prefer more shallower sizes, but that's what we're dealing with. And the symbols wise, what do we have there? So the symbols, we've got different companies. Uh, we've got two crash symbols right here as the uh, the hi-hats. We've got a Zildjian K Custom Crash on the top and a Peisty uh, Crash on the bottom. Top is a 18 and the bottom is an 18. We've got a 20 inch uh, Sabian AAX Explosion Crash. We've got a 24 inch Istanbul Agape Joey Welcome Ride, which sounds amazing. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Bethel uses, I've heard they use like Istanbul um, yeah. crashes. Mm -hmm. or and symbols. we've got uh, two Heartbeat Studio Crashes. Uh, this is an 18. And then the one to the right is a 16. And this is like a heartbeat, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm not sure how are, much. These are both heartbeat right here. Yeah. These are ones I'm probably considering when I get my new drum set. They have like that nice dark low sound to it, like the hot, like the hi hats or cymbals that I have now. And then mic wise, let's go over on the mic. So the mics, we've got uh, different uh, mics. We've got an Audix um, D4 over Audix here. Audix D4 on the toms. We've got a Shure SM57 on the snare. We've got a, another SM57 on the side snare. Uh, we've got room mics for the cymbals. And then it's and, set into the uh, X and Y position for studio quality. Yep, we've got an AKG mic underneath of the line symbol here. We've got an Audix D, I think that's a D6 on the kick yes, drum. Yes, it is. A rolling kick trigger right here. Another rolling trigger on the side snare. And my music director mic is a Shure Dynamic SM57. So this is what I talk into when I'm directing the band. Um, as far as heads go, we've... Uh, Decided to go with all Evans on the side snare and the batter of the uh, kick. Um, the toms on the batter are all Evans black chrome. And the main snare is a Evans ST drive, which sounds really, really nice. This is what I use at home on my home kit. It's a Remo controlled sound, but we've got a little bit of moon gel on there as well. I, yeah. I call this a Civil War drum because it sounds like you're in the Civil War. <laughs> um, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Got an Aquarian Super Kit 2 down here with the uh, double kit pads, which are really nice. And then we have uh, over here, if I'm not mistaken, that is a Roland SPDX. Yeah, so, so this is our um, Roland SPDX X pad, one of the most high quality things you can get. Uh, everything that we do, our clicks, our tracks, all of our samples will run through this pad. This is for our metronome right here on the right. And then our multi-tracks, which we use, come through this left pad right here. Of course, I've got div uh, different samples, kicks, snares, hats, tambourines. Um, fun fact about this pad, you can hold up to 900 samples on this uh, pad right here, which is real nice. And as you can see, you go through the different options here. And it kind of gives you different... Really everything is controlled through here, and it goes out to the house uh, and to the other musicians as well. 
All the hardware is DW, DW 9000 pedals, DW hi-hat snare, DW uh, snare stand. Got a couple of uh, Mapex stands. Um, we've got some DW uh, hardware over here with the cymbals. All of the sticks that we use, me and um, my friend Kyle, we use a big Firth. This is, these are the ones I'm using right now. These are the uh, American Classic 5As. I typically use the Den Ledger uh, signature sticks just because I like the weight to them. I have an electric kit that sounds the same with it with the mics and the reverb and everything. It sounds great, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Feel free what you want to do, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.